Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing some Batman Imaginex and Batman action figures and some Lego here on Eddie Hill's Reviews. Some epic Batmobiles, but first we're going to look at all the vehicles, then the Batcave, and then the action figures, huh? First we got the flying Batmobile. Open the cockpit. It comes with a black and gold Batman, and I love that. It sort of gives me a reminder of the first Batman movie from the 90s, Batman. So this is fun and cool. And it rolls like rolling things should. That's a lot of fun. It rolls. And you use this little turn knob, and it folds out the wings. Oh, yeah, that is fun. First Batmobile. Very simple. Next, we got another Batmobile. This one. I got the blue Adam West Batman with this because this Batman reminds me of Adam West Batman. So, he's dead by today's standards. But when you move this thing... The missiles fire out. Oh, man, that is fun. The missiles have a fire out gimmick. Definitely one of my favorite gimmick Batmobiles for free, huh? And it rolls very well. Why not? There I say, why not? I grew up with Batman, so I'm having a lot of fun with all this Batman stuff I got for free. So, yeah, a lot of it I got for free and other stuff I bought. So, next on the list, we got the Joker van. I don't have an Imaginex Joker to go in here, so we got a driver. You open this up. With the turn, and the Joker comes flopping out because I don't have an Imaginex Joker to go with the van. Really nice painting on the Joker van and sculpting pretty good. Headlights, pretty well sticker detailed. And a nice little interior. Why not? And to close it back up, you turn this turn dial and it closes back up. Now we're going to put our Joker back in the van and there we go. There we got the Joker van. We're going to need this guy for the next Joker-related item. Here on Batman Tuesday, the Dark Knight and his greatest foe. Next, we got this Joker plane, which has a gimmick. You pull this button, you push this button here. It's a punch plane. <laughs> That's fun. I love having fun. So it literally, literally you can punch anything with it. Pretty cool for a freebie. Now you open up the cockpit. You can add Joker's henchmen into the cockpit and be like, I'm coming to free you, Mr. Joker. Your faithful henchman is coming to your rescue. Sorry, that's my plane noise. I don't make a good plane noise. Next on the list, we got the Batman motorcycle, and I got the newer Batman here on the motorcycle. It's the best one I can use for this. And you push this button here, and it becomes a hover cycle. So it's two in one. I love that about this toy. And it rolls very well. Works well with this Batman, and that's how I'm going to display this on the shelf, for sure. Next, we got a Lego blind bag figure, which we are going to open it. We've already opened it. We're going to put it together here on the channel. It's a mini figure. So let's open up our instruction book here. 
Look at that. You get DC superheroes. Advertisements. So this is just an advertisement for the other figures in this line of Lego toys. Why not? Say why not. And we're going to put together this minifigure with ease. And this is the Nightwing Batman minifigure. We're going to put on his head. You get the angry face and the not this normal serious face. And give him his hair. And give him his batons. He has batons for some reason as weapons. I'm like, yeah, that's the kookiest thing they could ever do with them is give him batons for weapons. Be like, take this, Joker. Zap with my zappy batons. Here's another DC blind bag figure I've had for a while. DC and the Legion of Doom. The Trickster. So I got the Trickster and I got Nightwing. Minifigures. A lot of fun. We're done with that bag. We're going to show off the other figures we got right here. My first ever Batman 1990. Batman and Robin. Batgirl. So I got a Batgirl for my collection. Articulation. Pretty good. No bends at the elbows or knees, but this is a good looking figure. And she has her cape. And the head does move. So I finally got a Batgirl action figure. Why not? For comparisons, here we got Batgirl next to Superman. Batman. I don't have Robin. Martian Manhunter. The Flash. Why not? And that's all the DC figures I own so far this year. With posable action figures I have this year for my Justice League. Next, we got my first ever Hal Jordan Green Lantern action figure. And this is awesome. I finally have a Green Lantern and I'm most happy about it. Its articulation is pretty good. Now, this is from the first Green Lantern movie, so this figure is awesome. For comparisons, here we got Green Lantern next to Justice League Martian Manhunter, Superman, Flash, Batman, and yeah, this is a lot of fun toys for sure. But now we're going to look at our big, huge Bat Cave. And yes, this is a Bat Cave that opens up. Use this to open the door, and the Bat Cave opens up. That's fun. Use this turn dial right here. This turn dial. Comes all extended out like that. And it folds up. And look at that. The head lights up. That's fun. So definitely a lot of play features. You get another Batman I have here for Imagine X with the cannon. So I got an extra Batman up there or two. Looking at the very top level. We put Batman here, and that trunk opens up. Isn't that fun? Oh, and over here, he gets to punch something. Pew, pew, pew. Punch the practice dummy. Why not? Dare I say, why not? And it is an Imaginex Bat Cave worth adding to any Batman collection. I'd say yes. It's a fun play set to mess around with. Mine may be missing a few parts, but it's an awesome play set. I highly recommend you pick these up. Especially if you've got a big Batman collection. I forgot to show off the last detail down here. Open these up. You get a little jail cell right there. Cool, right? Open up there. Get another little area for your Batman to stand in. Just... Comparison, here he is down there. And you're probably wondering where I got this. I got this for free for no money down. The Batgirl and the 
Green Lantern I got from the flea market. I think the uh, Batman, Batgirl I got for like three bucks along with the uh, Green Lantern. So this is a good looking set. And this is my entire DC toy pickup as of 2022. And I am so glad to have some more Batman stuff to add to my ever-growing Batman collection. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.